Hello, and welcome to Episode 2 of ITC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. In Episode 1 of TechShare, I demonstrated the installation of a new beta version of Audacity, a free open-source sound editing program on a Windows 7 PC. The same basic installation procedures apply if you are installing the older 1.2.6 release on a Windows XP computer. If you are a podcaster, there is one more major step that needs to be accomplished if you are planning on producing audio podcasts using the Audacity Sound Editor. Most audio podcasts are in the MP3 format, and if you are using Audacity to produce your podcast, you will also need to download the LAME, L-A-M-E, MP3 encoder so you can save your podcast in the MP3 format. By default, Audacity supports the WAV file format. Apparently, because of licensing issues, the LAME MP3 encoder is a separate download from the actual Audacity program. Okay, to begin, we'll start very similar to where we did with the Audacity program itself. We'll go up here and in our search box type in Audacity and do the search. And once again, we see that Audacity, the free audio editor and recorder, is our first choice. So we'll go to audacity.sourceforge.net. At this site, let's click on the Download tab up at the top. So when I click on Download, this brings me to the information for the various versions. And as we said last time, we're in a provisional support for Windows 7, so we're using the beta version at this point. So let's click on the 1.3.11 release for Windows. This is what they're currently recommending for Windows 7. And if I scroll down a little bit, if you look underneath the optional downloads in the Plugins and Libraries section, you will see the LAME MP3 encoder, and it allows Audacity to export to MP3 files. Whenever I click on that link, it provides me the instructions, and it notes that because of software patents, it cannot distribute MP3 enco encoding software ourselves, so we must go to the LAME download page, and the following are the set of instructions. So let's jump on the LAME MP3 encoder link, and that takes you to the LAME download site. And for Audacity on Windows, here's version 3.98.2. That is what we want. So we will click that link. And once again, I prefer saving files, so let's click the Save button. And it remembers the last time I downloaded the Audacity program on Drive C in the Downloads folder. So that's fine. That's where I want to store it. So here's my file name. Just simply click Save. And I downloaded this earlier, so the download was very quick. Now I can run the program and do an install. Just warning message here that the publisher could not be verified. I'll go ahead and run this. And yes, I do want to install this. This will install the lame version 3.98.2 version for Audacity. So just walk through the setup wizard here. Next, the license agreement. Click I accept the agreement if you so choose. Click Next. And here is the default path for where Audacity will be installed. I recommend you leave this alone because this is the standard default path. So it's in the Program Files, Lane 4 Audacity folder. Click Next, and now then it says it's ready to install. Just simply click the Install button. Now this is just a very small file, so when I click Install, it's, it's finished. It's that quick, less than a second. So it says click Finish to exit setup, and that's it. I have installed the Lane MP3 encoder. Now then, let's close this browser window. Actually, let's minimize this browser window. And you'll see on my desktop that I do have the Audacity uh, icon on the desktop from my previous install. Whenever I open up Audacity now, uh, here's the standard transport, the play, record, pause, stop buttons. But you will notice now underneath the file menu, well, actually, I'm going to have to record something. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Click the record button, button here. And let me stop. So I have something to save now. So whenever I go to the file and the export button, you will see that MP3 files is indeed a type that I could save this. If I use the pull down menu, I have the other different options here. Uh, you'll see that Wave uh, is supported. So if you, for some reason, did not download the MP3 uh, encoder, you can always save your Audacity files as a Wave. Uh, and then if you'd like to convert them later, uh, you can either use Audacity or some other program to convert. So that's a quick wrap up of the Audacity program. Now you have everything that you need to record uh, your podcast using Audacity and you'll be able to save them in the MP3 format on a personal computer.
That wraps it up for this video edition of Episode 2 of ITC TechShare. For more information about ITC TechShare and other educational technology podcasts, please visit the Eastern Illinois University Instructional Technology Center website at www.eiu.edu. Until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.